If all of your habitats in Planet Zoo are looking plain and ugly like this and you're looking to spice things up and make something more realistic like this, or you just want to learn how to build beautiful and realistic rock walls like this, you have clicked on the right video. Hello everybody, I am Kiwi Plays, and welcome back to the segment of the channel I am calling Planet Zoo Tips and Tricks. Because all of you enjoyed the first episode so much I decided to film a second part. So without further ado, let's hop straight into today's video. This is a new episode of How To, and in this episode I'm going to carry on showing you how to make the foliage and how to make just the nature scenes look better and more detailed. So hopefully this episode will help you out. I'm going to try to make it as short as possible, but we all know that that might not happen. So as you can see here, we've got the little water area. It's cut in half like this because I used the, um, the, I'm not sure what mod it's called. I used the free build mod to, to just make it that there is no glass here and that there's just water. I'll leave the link to that mod in the description down below. But yeah, so let's just start with just decorating here a bit so the first thing we're obviously going to do is take some rocks so i'm going to put all of the rocks that i'm going to use on just right there and i'm going to be back to you in just a second okay everybody i am back that really didn't take too long but i put down here all of the rocks that i'm going to use and of course i'm also going to use a couple of tiger rocks if i'm not mistaken I like them right here. Yeah, the tiger rocks, I'm gonna use a couple of them, but I just didn't feel like putting down all of the tiger rocks here. So with, so you'll just see whatever rocks I put down. Let's talk about the rocks real quick. These are the rocks that I made myself. If you don't have the aquatic pack, you can use these rocks because they're very detailed and very beautiful, frankly. Um, so yeah, okay, never mind. Let's carry on let's just start with the whole detailing process so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this little stack that i just made a minute ago and i am i want to change the color but i don't know if that's possible because there are a lot of different rocks in here but it's not the end of the world i like i like this color but i would just prefer another color i will obviously put all of these things in the description down below so if you would like to use them you're more than welcome to and yeah so as always we're just gonna take a couple of rocks and put them all along the side just like this and then I'm just gonna make, take make some more detailing by taking the different types of rocks and sinking them in just to make them look like pebbles all along the um, all along like the riverbank so just make sure to always flip over the rocks so that it doesn't look like you're just copying and pasting the same rocks over and over again which that is basically what we're doing but just to make it look more generic and more original um, but then I'm gonna take these rocks I'm gonna move them straight over here and I'm just gonna take it and put some make some more details in the walls I do I, I don't really mind that there's a drop here but I do want that this little slope is um, a bit covered in rocks and just looks more organic and more natural so how I'm gonna do that is I'm just gonna take some rocks and just fill it with rocks it's pretty easy and pretty self-explanatory but when you get to something like this where the ground is not even and you want to just distribute things all over there i recommend going in and turning on a line to surface that way it's just aligned to the surface and it looks a lot better than if it was floating out of the ground obviously so so yeah that's just really what i what i usually do and what i recommend you to do but obviously you don't really have you don't have to do it you can do whatever you would like 
um but yeah now basically i'm just gonna go ahead and detail this whole area with rocks and i'll come back to you guys and we'll just look at it so so yeah let's let's do that quickly and with the magic of editing as you can see i am done with this rock work it really took me only a couple of minutes it wasn't too difficult i just copied and pasted a lot and turned it around just to make it look more original i changed the the color of the rocks if you haven't noticed but i do think that i could add a couple more of these like tiger rocks just to make it more um like original and to make it more realistic but other than that i do think that i did a pretty good job on making it look um all right so 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 yeah now what we're gonna carry on doing is we're gonna move on to the foliage for the foliage i have a couple of tricks um for the waterfall foliage i am going to again make like a little palette over here of all the foliage pieces that i think i'm going to use and i'll be right back to you guys with that okay so honestly that took a lot longer than i expected if you can see here you can see that i've got all of the little foliage pieces i put in a couple of flowers because honestly i honestly my words are just getting all mixed up okay honestly i wanted to add just a couple of flowers just to make it look very european and very like spring themed especially because now we're going into spring and i don't know i just feel like i wanted to add a couple of little flower pops so i am gonna start decorating that but let's just look at what i made for the water area these are some reeds that i just um used these like single reeds and i just placed them one on top of it, the other and turned them all around just to create this little like thing i'm gonna put this in the workshop so you can go and check it out and like make a copy of this and just use it in your own zoo if you want to but but yeah let's start with just some decorations the first thing i'm gonna add are the lily pads lily pads yeah that's what they're called <laughs> i think you are just gonna want to align them to the surface just to make sure that they look like they're floating over and i'm just gonna add a couple not too many to make it look too packed but just a couple to make it look nice i don't know i really love the the lily pads and then you're gonna add a couple more um just like all kinds of different shapes and sizes to make it look more organic and like it isn't just copied and pasted yeah but let's start by adding some of the reeds and some of the little i don't know what to call them it's like seaweed and seagrass but it's not in the ocean it's in this little like lake so i think i'm just gonna add some and I'll be back in just a moment. So let me just show you how I'm placing it. Oh, oops, that wasn't intended <laughs> to happen. But I'm just gonna turn it around a bit and just make it look like it isn't copied and pasted, even though it is the same read, just by adding different colors and not colors different sizes of reeds i honestly could just sink it into the ground but i don't want to do that that's the whole reason why i spent a lot of time making these but yeah i'm just gonna spread out all of the aquatic plants and just make it look really nice in there and i'll be back in just a moment okay so i have finished putting down all of the little like reeds and seagrass and i also put down some prairie periwinkle yeah peri <laughs> periwinkle leaves over there and it just looks like a bit of algae and i just think it looks really good so um 
yeah i put some down there and down there and everywhere and now the final touches is i'm going to go ahead and to decorate back here and just add a couple of things to make it look um just to to make it look good and all together so i'm gonna start with just some big bushes and just put them all over the place the key is to sink them and to just rotate them every once in a while to make it look um again more generic and organic just like it was made by nature and it wasn't made by a little kiwi just placing around just placing stuff around <laughs> yeah um and then at the end i'm also gonna put down some trees so so yeah i am gonna just put some stuff all around and i'll be right back to you guys with the results of that and that's it i am done with this little area i think it looks very beautiful the whole point of me showing you this video was really for me to show you and to go into more detail of how i how i built underwater areas and just a, a couple more tips and tricks i am gonna after this little segment i am gonna jump over and show you just a couple more tricks um I think maybe one or two I'm not um, completely I'm not I don't completely know yet but I just I just before I move on I just wanted to show you in a bit more detail just a couple of things that I didn't really have time to say before so first of all I definitely do recommend you guys to always use the um, buffalo grass that is in the game i never recommend you to use the grass that is in the game like the long grass i think it looks very ugly and i always always change the the terrain to either short grass or maybe dirt just so i can put either the yorkshire grass or the buffalo grass and yeah just i also recommend you guys to to just fill up with trees in the background of your habitats that way the 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 people can't see too much behind the habitat and it's a good way of hiding stuff like if you want to build a big building back here and make sure nobody sees it you can just hide it with foliage and with trees and it also makes the habitat feel a lot deeper and with a lot more personality and it doesn't look like it just ends with the detail over here it looks like there's also detail back there and there's also other things back there so that's really why i also recommend you to always add trees like this um yeah but i really think that's the end of this little segment and area hopefully you enjoyed this area let's hop straight into the next tip and trick okay thank you future kiwi for that little introduction but right now i'm gonna jump in and show you how to make the detailed rock works because i have been getting comments and just questions on how i do my rock walls and just like how i do my detailed rocks so it's pretty easy and pretty simple um so and i'm gonna try to explain it as quick as possible because i don't want to waste too long on the video about this because i still want to to fit one more tip and trick one more tip um into this video and not make it too long so you're gonna go into the terrain setting and you're what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pull the terrain and make it look a bit interesting it really doesn't have to look like anything um real i just I, i'm just gonna make it look like just a couple of rocks here and let's say that this is the end of the habitat and we really don't want let's say the prairie dogs to to jump over this so we're gonna make rock walls um to make sure that the prairie dogs don't go anywhere and we're gonna connect them with the caesar crate walk rock walls oh my god i'm talking very funny but i'm just gonna take the terrain the terrain setting and now let me just change the ground because i don't like it when it looks like this i know right now it looks really funny and really like weird but don't worry this is all gonna be covered up by the rocks so we're just going to take the rocks and 
cover it all up we're gonna just put them everywhere just flipping them over and making it trying to make it look as natural as possible um yeah you can more or less just do exactly like i'm doing or just put your own spin to it you're more than free to do whatever you like and you're always free to do any creative ideas <laughs> that you like while i'm doing this i just wanted to ask you what are your thoughts about the new dlc that is coming out the new farmland dlc if i'm not mistaken i i don't know what it's called but it's a super cool DL dlc in my opinion and i think it's gonna open up so many um different ideas and so many different opportunities for me in the zoos and I'm just looking forward to building in there and just to building stuff with it. Um, but let's go back to this rock wall. Let's say that this is the barrier and we don't want any animals to escape from here. Then we're going to actually want to hire it up just a little bit so that the animals can't just jump over and escape from it. Um, yeah so we're just gonna use all kinds of different rocks different rocks different rock textures and we're gonna make sure that there is a pretty big gap from the ground so that the animal won't be able to escape from here and now i'm just gonna go in with the pebbles and make it a bit more detailed and just add some more texture now i'm gonna do this over here and over here again and I'm gonna come back to you when I'm done with that and with the power of editing I have finished um, as you can see I, I, I am done here let's say that this was a prairie dog enclosure I don't know why I'm always thinking of prairie dogs but that's the first thing that came to my mind um, let's say that there's a little prairie dog in here and he's just walking around. First of all, there's no way that he can really get out of here unless he really jumps from here to there. Um, in Planet Zoo, I mean, in real life, they would definitely find a way to escape. But in Planet Zoo, there is no way, no way that, <laughs> that they'll be able to escape out of here. There is even no way that they'll be able to walk over here or through there. But um, let's just say for the sake of realism that this is a real life enclosure. I think it would be so cool if you would put like a habitat or just like a backstage area back there. That way they could walk through here and get to the backstage area. But let's just say that this is a like barrier gate and you don't want anything to walk past here then i am gonna use some of the caesar create rock walls um because i definitely don't have this this amount of time or this amount of effort to 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 really care for and take this much time to build these rock walls so i'm just gonna use caesars um here so yeah i'm just gonna put them over here just to make sure that it's like blocking their way out and making sure that they cannot escape out of here um yeah but that's really the end of my little rock walls if you got to this point and you're wanting to decorate it you can definitely use the tips that i used over there and incorporate them here but honestly i would only add just a couple of little bushes and some buffalo grass to make it look um really good but um yeah let's move on to the last tip of this episode the last tip is to not listen to everything that i say but as you can see i am not going to do another tip honestly i couldn't really think of another tip that was really worthy of me putting it in the video and so i did film a couple of different tips but honestly i didn't really love them so we are gonna stay with these 
two tips. So sorry for making you guys all confused, but these are the two tips that I am going to post. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this episode, please do go down below and hit that subscribe button as it will help me grow my little Kiwi family. And if I talk about the Barnyard Animal Pack, if I talked about it, just so you know, I filmed this episode quite a while back before the Barnyard Animal before the Barnyard DLC even came out, so that's the reason why I'm talking about it, if you were just wondering to yourself. But that's the end of today's episode, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye guys!